Hey guys, Ron Placone here. So there was a bill out there that would have closed the loophole that gives the president warrantless, limitless spying powers. Uh, that bill was supported by digital rights groups. That bill was supported uh, by civil liberties groups, free press organizations. That bill wasn't supported by 127 Republicans and 126 Democrats. There you go. There's bipartisanship for you. We got bipartisan support, Republicans and Democrats working together to make sure the president has limitless spying powers. Among those 126 Democrats, by the way, Adam Griff. I mean Schiff, Schiff, sorry. I always screw up his name. Adam Schiff, for the past about three years now, has spoken about nothing but Trump Russia. Uh, he's spoken about nothing but how horrible Trump is. And then he goes and he votes for something like this, giving Trump warrantless spying powers. And the reason Adam Schiff is doing all this is not because he actually opposes Trump. He's not the resistance, he's the assistance. Adam Schiff is doing this for a number of reasons. A, uh, it's boosted his popularity. He's become a, a political celebrity uh, to a much increased degree as a result of Trump, and he's enjoying that. B, he's profiting off of it. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember a couple months ago, some Republicans were criticizing Adam Schiff how did Adam Schiff respond? He asked his supporters for money. Uh, why? Nobody knows, but he did a big fundraiser for himself. I, I guess his feelings were hurt. Republicans said something mean about him uh, and his feelings were hurt. I still don't know why he needed money. Uh, I know they, they get good benefits in Congress. He could have just afforded therapy. I don't know what's going on there, but he needed money for some unknown reason. And C, you know, just talking about but Trump, but Trump, but Trump. Uh, is a nice, convenient distraction for the fact that Congress people like Adam Schiff stand for absolutely nothing. And here in California, we've known that about him for a long time now. He has been silent. When we were having the single-payer fight, he was silent because he doesn't support Medicare for All or single-payer health care. He was silent about the high-speed rail. He was silent when we were pushing for a public bank. He was silent uh, about rent control. Why? Because he doesn't support any of these things because the donor class wouldn't like that. Adam Schiff is a grifter. Adam Schiff, it, I, I get the vibe he always wanted to be an actor. And right now, he has a reoccurring role. He's playing the role of somebody who actually gives a shit about opposing a corrupt president. That's what he's doing. Whenever you see Adam Schiff on TV, and he's not alone. He's just the one that you can't help but notice in this, for instance. But whenever you see Adam Schiff on the TV, which is often, just know that you are witnessing political theater to the nth degree. Whenever you see Adam Schiff on television, you might as well just put a soap opera on instead. You will get the same amount of information, but at least with the soap opera, there's a chance that the plot line will be entertaining. Adam Grift, that's the resistance. Bipartisanship. Bipartisan support for giving the president limitless spying powers.